Hello, Will here. Now, I'm just trying to talk about the life of an octopus, which to me means the life cycle of an octopus, which, you know, sounds boring and academic. So I'm going to do it all my way through this purely because I haven't used my good microphone for a while. So in case you don't know, this is what an octopus looks like. It has eight legs. That's right. Eight count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five? Okay, this one there has four because it's flat. That's right, it's a flat, it's a flat octopus, it's 2D. So the first thing that happens in the life cycle of an octopus is that the octopus is born, it's hatched from an egg because most creatures who aren't mammals are hatched from eggs. Because the new baby octopus doesn't have any parents at this point, there is no one around to look after it, more importantly, no one to name it. So I will name it Oki. Oki has no parents, as previously mentioned, he is so small he joins groups of microscopic animals called plankton. Now, because they are microscopic, you can't see them, so here is an artist's rendition. So Oki joins the plankton and eats their food, which is kind of harsh, but almost certain coat pods don't taste very nice. They do this until they decide to go a bit deeper and repeat this until they go a long way down. It is also good to realise at this point that Oki gains weight very quickly and more specifically his weight increases by approximately 5.3648372636% a day on average. Okay so I made those last numbers up. But around the age of one Oki has already grown up and he's ready to mate. Now I'm not going into the specifics of octopus sex because let's face it it's not that interesting but this is where gender differentiation kicks in. Oki will die within a couple of months of pleasing the lady octopuses because he's a guy. Whereas if Oki was an Okia, she would lay loads of eggs inside the cave and then starve herself while fighting off predators and blowing water over the eggs so they get oxygen. Then Okia would die and the baby hatches and here we go again. Hey! Hi! How is it going? So yeah, that was um, a day in the life of an octopus as challenged by Mitch to talk about the life of an octopus, so I did that. It's not a day in the life of an octopus, it's the life cycle of an octopus. I'm such an idiot at times. So easy to get confused. So anyway, I'm here to, you know, just talk a bit about some challenges that you guys need to do, because now that I've done all of mine, it's your turn. So Mitch, you've got a lot of bass guitars. I want to see them all. Probably in a short sketch about bass guitars, in which you line all your bases belong to us has to be used. There you go, there's a challenge for you. Yeah, Andrew, this, as you probably saw, the octopus in this video came from kulker.com, C L K E R.com, link down there. And I've picked the first random image I saw, and you've got to use that in a video. And this is the image here. Up here is the image. So that's what you've got to do. Um, Richard, a video game style parody from you would be quite cool. A video game style skit or something, or something to do with video games. There's your inspiration, guys. And I will see you next time. Rolling over here.